die is cast. What is the challenges? What are the problems that will not make you, that will not make me to the kingdom of God? Remember, God is God of love. He died because of you. He died because of me. You are alone now. I am alone. Why can't you confess that sin? The Almighty Father, this is the sin I've committed. Father, forgive me in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever the sin may be, is a God of love. Is a God of forgiveness. He is calling you this evening unconditionally. He is calling me this evening unconditionally. Why can't you tell him that Almighty Father have struggled in love I pass through a lot in this world. It will be miserable if at the end of all my race, at the end of the day, I couldn't make it to eternity. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, no matter what the same may be, forgive me, O Lord. I want to reign with you. I want to be with you. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, put devil to shame in my life. Put devil to shame in your life. That there should be power in the name of in the name of Jesus Christ. As you are calling it, as I'm calling it. That all the house of babbling in my life, in your life, God should demolish in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon Him. Is it immorality? Is it whatsoever that God does not like that in your life that is in my life? Call upon the name of the Lord. That God, you are King of King, Lord of Lord. Forgive me, and I come unto you this evening. Let me be able to reign with you. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Come unto him. He is opening his hand. He wants to welcome you. He wants to welcome me. Call upon the name of the Lord. That God has set me as I am. And as you are accepting me as I am, the garment of go and sin no more. Give unto me. O thing, O mighty Father, that will destroy me in my way to the kingdom of God that have destroyed me in my way to the kingdom of God, Father, take them away from my life. I will walk in that way and I will get there. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everyone first say, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because of this evening. We thank you, Lord, because from your servant, you have let us know how to prepare for heaven, how to prepare for the kingdom of God. 
Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Every one of us, we are here this evening. We come without no any excuse. We pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Because of his death on Calvary, Father, we are going to receive mercy and you are going to take us to heaven in Jesus' name. Let's say amen. All obstruction, all things that can block our way, all things that will not let us get there, we pray. As Pato said, it may be anger, it may be immorality, it may be uh, uh, something that we never expected that can be disturbances that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty Father, take it away from our life in Jesus' name. Let us be prepared as wise women that are able to ask for extra oil to live above sin. Father, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, this evening we come together by the power and the blood that you are going to give to us in Jesus' name. And your grace is going to be sufficient for us. Thank you, O oh Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's say it together. Amen. Let's say it one again. Amen. Let us be seated. I know the I observed something in the United States. It was until the end of prayer, everybody said Amen. In Africa, I see that anytime we call the name of Jesus Christ, we say Amen. Amen me, yes, it is in Jesus' name. So anytime we are praying and we are able to say Amen, I mean, I say in Jesus' name, let everyone of us say Amen. I mean, it, it is so in Jesus' name. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Once again, I want to appreciate every one of us for coming. And then, by the grace of the Lord today, we have the outline. Let us go through it at home. Let us read it. Let us open our Bible. And that's how God, we can know how to open our Bible. That's what I was doing when I was a young convert. All those outlines, I will sit down and I will be reading it. I will be underlining it. So that's how I'm able to know uh, a lot about Francis and the opening of the Bible. And then where the, it will not go for us that until we come on Sunday or until we come on Monday, we start, we start opening our Bible. It will not be, uh, we are not going to be used to it. So, Bible is a food that we eat. So, every day, like that outline, let us go through it. You look at that Bible chapter. You look at that first, and then you underline it. By the time you are doing it every week, you will see that you are perfect opening of the Bible. And God will communicate it to you. God will. I remember when I was reading the Corinthians, then I was like, if I'm not mistaken, maybe like a can woman or a little bit more than him. And I will be reading that Corinthian, I will be crying. And my mom will be asking, what's happening to you? What's happening to you? I can't say, but I will be crying. So God will help us in Jesus' name. Let's bring our title and offering. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because of what you are doing for us. Lord, out of what you are giving to us, we bring this token. Let it be acceptable before you in Jesus' name. And let your name be glorified. For those who does not have to provide for them in Jesus' name. For those who have but does not know how to give, Father, turn their mind in Jesus' name. For those people who are giving, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, just because of your blood, a million food, you are going to give back to them in Jesus' name. Father, let the church use it for the glorification of your of your of your name in Jesus' name. Father, our church we need a permanent place. We need church found by the power and the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. You are going to provide for us in Jesus' name. We want to thank you, Lord, because of what you did for our van today. 
uh, what we thought what happened to you is not what happened to you father we glorify your name that we able to use this for the bible study today father accept our thanks in jesus name thank you lord because you are the lord that answer prayer in jesus name we pray amen that's what i said we still not say amen anytime i say in the name of jesus let us say amen amen Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, let's stand up once again. We are not respecting anybody, but we are respecting God. May the name of our Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen amen thank you god bless you you are excited to come back home. You see, it's tempting today. We want to pray and say, God, you will bring back the God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray and say, God, bless the Lord I have for my spouse. Instead of diminishing, tell the Lord that the love we have for each other will grow, that this love will grow. It will not go down. But it to go because the love of God for us does not go down. He loves us every day. He loves us every day. We want to pray and say, God, I can love them because of what my spouse did yesterday. Then there is no more love. Pray that God Almighty will do it and send back his love upon our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to read, I want to read Ephesians chapter 4. I want to read 31 and 32. The Bible says, Ephesians chapter 4, 31 and 32. The Bible says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Brethren, we want to pray that God will put away that we will put away bitterness in our lives, anger in our lives. Husband and wife have misunderstanding and we cannot settle. We want to pray and say, God, let bitterness be put away. Let there be love again. Let there be forgiveness. Uh, 32 says, and be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven us. We want to pray 
that we will love one another. We will put away bitterness. We will put away anger. No matter what that individual has done, God wants us to forgive. We want to pray and say, God, the grace to forgive one another, you will give unto us, shall we pray? Pray for forgiveness, the grace to forgive. Brethren, sometimes we say we are forgiving, and yet we don't have openness of heart, and yet we cannot communicate with one another. Pray that there will be forgiveness in our homes, spouses, forgive one another. Pray that whatsoever it is that we should forgive, there is no amount of offense that we cannot forgive. That thing that will make you to turn your back to your husband, turn your back to your wife at night. And throughout the whole night, and nobody will talk to each other that can hinder us from making it to heaven. Ask God to give us the grace to forgive one another. Brethren, it is a serious prayer. I cannot hear people pray. Probably people don't have any problem, but there are homes. When you interact with people, you know that there are homes where bitterness and trouble and anger has been the order of the day. We want to remember people. We want to remember people and say, God, in every home, we can return it. That God Almighty will take it away. It might be money that is causing the problem. It might be childlessness. It might be anything. We know it all. And there is trouble in the home. We want to pray and say, God, settle the home, settle our home. In the name of Jesus Christ. And regional overseer is doing everything possible so that husband and wife can enjoy the home that God has given to them. But what are we to pray and tell the Lord that God Almighty will take away bitterness, God will take away anger, God will bring us back together as husband and wife. We will start all over again. I remember one of the programs that we had. The choir sang a song that says, let's begin again. We can begin again. We can start all over again. We can be joyful in God again. We can play also like children. Pray that God Almighty we will restore our home. Every home that is shaking, pray that God Almighty will restore our home. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, ask the Lord to do a new thing in such homes where their wine has been there. May there be a new wine in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to take authority over the powers of the enemy that is warring against our homes. Brethren, the devil knows that when our homes are stable, the church of God will be stable. And therefore, he attacks the home. When the homes are attacked, what would the church do? We want to pray that every power of the enemy to attack our homes, but that God Almighty will destroy it. Whatever Amen. problem that the wicked has brought into our homes that we cannot see eye to eye with each other, we want to pray that God Almighty will destroy it. Is it the power, the pride of you don't want to submit to your husband? The, the, the pride of you know being able to say, I'm sorry to your spouse. We want to pray every plan of the enemy that God Almighty will destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. And give us the hope. And give us hope. Build upon the Savior. The hope built upon Jesus Christ. The hope we are Christ. If we are we want to pray. Because when we have a stable hope, it will trickle down to our children. To the church of God. Let us pray. And say, God, we are going to pray. We can have the power that God Almighty will destroy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Over the part of that, over the work of the enemy, in the name of Jesus, wherever they are taking their children, pray that God Almighty will not teach them. Pray that God drive them away, all their agenda, but 
We want to pray for homes that are separated, spouses that are no more together, that God will bring them together. We want to pray that God will bring them together. Brethren, you don't know how they feel. A husband is somewhere and the wife is somewhere. Is it the plan of God? No. We want to pray that whatever it is, that God will bring them together. How he's going to do it, we don't know. But all we know is that he can do all things. With the choir song, yes. during this process, says, what God cannot do does not exist. We want to pray that God Almighty will draw them together. God will bring them back together as husband and wife. Because it is the children that are suffering it. We want to commit them into the hand of God. Brethren, let let us pray. Let us cry unto the Lord and say, God, bring them back together. Husband and wife that are not living together, they quenched in the heart of God. For some reason, for some reason, the enemy came. For how long are they going to remain like that? Some are praying and they are tired of praying. But we can step in tonight and we can call upon the name of the Lord. For them and say, God, arise. God, arise and visit them. Open their eyes. That this is not the plan of God. And bring every one of them together. So that the house, their home, will be heaven on earth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we are to And let your name be noted on In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way in your life. Have your way in our home. Have your way. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we pray that you have your way in our homes, have your way in our lives, have your way, O oh God, in our church. It's not about us, Lord. It's about you. Father, have your way. In all our decisions, Lord, have your way. Let our home be heaven of art, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are there are bitterness, O God. Father, we pray you dissolve it. Father, let them come back together as husband and wife that you have made them to be from the beginning in Jesus' name. We Amen. bless your name, O oh God, because we never answered those. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Brethren, we're going to continue on in our prayers tonight. We are going to be praying for ourselves once again. We are going to be praying for our families. We are going to be committing the rest of the year into the hands of the Lord. But first and foremost, let's thank God once again for his goodness and his faithfulness in our lives. 
He is being our Jehovah Hebenezer, the one who has helped us so far. So let us bless the Lord. Let's exalt him. Let's magnify him. Our first, our pastor who led the first prayer point talked about all that the Lord has done for us. But we can never out thank God. We can never be over grateful. So we are going to bless the Lord one more time and just say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for preserving my life and preserving all that pertains to me from the beginning of the year till now. Father Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Jesus, for your provision. Thank you, Jesus, for your strength. Thank you, Lord, for your sustaining grace. Thank you for all that you have done in my life. The Bible tells us, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquity? Who healeth all thy diseases? The Lord has been our healer. The Lord has been our redeemer. The Lord has been the one to come up with loving kindness and send a message. The Lord has been there for us. Even when the enemy came in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord raised up a standard against him. Let's bless the Lord. Let's exalt him. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful. I am saying thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful. And I'm saying thank you, Jesus. Why not say thank you, Lord? Thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done in my family, for all that you have done in our church, for all that you have done in every capacity that you God has helped you. Why not begin to bless him, exalt him, magnify him, lift up his holy name. Father, we are grateful. We thank you, Lord, our Redeemer. We thank you, Lord, our Sustainer. We are grateful to you, O oh God, for all that you have done in our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Reverend, we are going to commit the rest of this year into the hands of the Lord. The we are right in the 11th month of this of 2021. We have two more months to go and the year will be ending. We have blessed the Lord Almighty for how he has kept us. But we want to commit the next two months into the hands of the Lord. By the grace of God, we are all going to see December 31st, 2021, if the Lord carries in Jesus' name. And so we are going to commit those two months into the hands of the Lord. That Father God, you who have kept me since the beginning of January, you who have kept my family, you who have kept us, you have protected us, you have us, they have provided for us. Lord Almighty, please keep us to the end of this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, can you begin to pray? Protection on our families, can you begin to pray? Protection on our families. There is this uh, belief that the December month, the month that ends with MDER, there are months where strategies occur. None of those strategies will, strategies will occur in our families. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want to plead the blood of Jesus for the rest of this year. For every single day of the rest of this year, the Lord carries that no evil will be for us, no evil will be for our loved ones, no evil will be for our brethren. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we end this year together, we are going to end this year together in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 43, verse, um, verse 19, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall creep forth. I don't know what your expectation has been. Maybe your expectation came, came short at the beginning, from, uh, the beginning of this year to now. And but the Lord Assuring you, Lord is assuring me that you can still do something new. Something new can still happen in your life. Something new can still happen in my life. The Bible says that you will do a new thing and shall not bring forth. And so we are going to pray on those promises of the Lord. Say, Father God, this new thing, what new thing, what thing do you want to renew in your life? What new thing do you want in the area of your spiritual life? The Lord can renew your spiritual life. The Lord can reinvigorate you. Is it in the area of your finances? Is it in the area of your 
mighty name of Jesus, whatever is missing, whatever is missing, whatever has been taken, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that the Lord Almighty, who has promised, He will recover all, He will recover all, in the mighty name of Jesus. This month will be a month of recovery. It's already a month of newness and the grace of God. It's not going to be a month of recovery. In the mighty name of Jesus, spiritual recovery, financial recovery, physical recovery, in the terms of your health, recovery. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, career recovery. In the mighty name of Jesus, marital recovery. In the mighty name of Jesus, recovery in every area. In the name of Jesus, is it that your vitality life went down the result of COVID? Ah, recovery is happening. Recovery is taking place. In the mighty name of Jesus, there will be a recovery. There will be a recovery, and there will be a revival in your life, in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, I don't know if we are aware of what is going on in the world. Right now, there is a global shortage in the manufacturing sector for certain things. And now we are hearing that there will be a, a, a food shortage that is coming on as well. But the Bible says what? My people will dwell in safety. The Bible also says that he will keep him in perfect need. See, whose mind is stayed on him. And so we are going to decree peace in our land, peace in our life, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to begin to decree peace. That no matter what is coming on your horizon, the Lord Almighty will keep us in peace. None of us will fall short, we will, will fall to all the things that are, that are being pro projected in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to pray for divine pro supply, we want to pray for divine provision, we want to pray that the Lord will keep us, the Lord will sustain it each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we begin to pray that the Lord will keep us in peace, that no matter what they, they, they say, no matter what the is say, no matter what they are saying about food, about shortage of food, about uh, shortage of this, shortage of that, we are going to pray and rely on the Lord Almighty, that the Lord will keep us, the Lord will provide for us, that the Lord will be our anchor. We are not going to rely on our own arm of flesh, but we are going to rely on the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to be keep during the rest of this year, peace do it for the rest of this year, peace in our homes, peace in our, in, in our workplaces, peace in the schools, peace in the understanding, the Lord will multiply in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to plead the blood of Jesus upon all our family members once again, we want to plead the blood of Jesus upon all our family members, upon all our, our brethren, we want to plead the blood of Jesus, we want life to be lost this rest for the rest of this year. There will be no loss of life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord Almighty will help us, and the Lord will see us through, and He will keep us, and He will preserve us, and He will protect us, and He will enable us, and He will strengthen us, and He will help us. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, it will be testimony. How will be testimony of God's provision? How will be testimony of God's protection? In the mighty name of Jesus, we will be able to testify of the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus, none of us will lack anything because of our Lord of supply our needs according to his riches in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will keep us, the Lord will help us, the Lord will strengthen us, the Lord will protect us, the Lord will provide for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Father Lord, we thank you, we exalt your holy name. We magnify you, Lord Almighty, for this time of this, for this, for this time of prayer. Father Lord Almighty, we commit all that you have prayed on into your hands. We ask the Father, we take absolute and preeminent control in Jesus' name. We know that Lord Almighty, for the rest of this year, we are protected. For the rest of this year, you are preserved. For the rest of this year, we are strengthened. We are helped. And we are going to dwell in peace and in safety in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father Lord Almighty, because you have answered. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. God is good. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 26, which we're all familiar with that verse. And I will meet them, and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down. The shower, the shower of blessing. The shower, the shower of blessing. 